Good morning. Welcome to week two of PE at Home with Coach Cannon, part one. The activity we're going to do today is called 52 Card Fitness Deck. This game was taught to me by a student teacher several years ago, Coach Meeks. Many of us love and know Coach Meeks. All you need is a space to play and you need a deck of 52 playing cards. Let's go over what we're going to be doing in this game. The object of the game is to see how many cards you can collect or how many cards you can complete. For example, if you have someone to play with you, you can compete against each other and see who can complete the most cards. Or if you're alone, you can set a timer for say 10 minutes. See how many cards you can complete in 10 minutes. When you play the next time, see if you can beat what your last score was. Let's go over what the cards represent. Now I printed off my cards in purple and black because that's my school colors, but the cards are probably gonna be red or black. If you draw a heart, I want you to do a heart health exercise, cardio. For example, jumping jacks, jump rope, run in place, high knees, rear kicks. If you draw a club, I want you to do an upper body or arm workout. For example, you could do bicep curls if you have some weight you can do some air punches you can do dips you can do push-ups let's say that you draw a diamond this will be your core exercises those are things like sit-ups scissor kicks v-sit hold a plank if you draw a spade what i want you to do on these is a lower body workout for your legs. So for example, you might do squats, you might do lunges, might do a burpee, or even a wall sit. All right, let's go over the point values if you draw a card. Well, I tell you what, I'll change my mind and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to play. So you're gonna shuffle the deck, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a card. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna scoot back here so I can have some space and I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, my first card. This is a heart, an ace of hearts. Now on the ace, you can do a value of one or you can do a value of 11. Now remember we said this was going to be a cardio workout. I'm going to do 11 and I'm going to do 11 rear kicks. So I'm gonna play my card down face up. That means I have completed the card. And I'm going to go ahead and do 11 rear kicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Very good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw another card. I drew a club. Now, anytime you get a face card or a 10, you're going to do 10 of those. Face cards are a value of 10. So, on the club, remember, we said this was going to be an upper body workout. I'm going to do 10 air punches. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to draw another card. Three of diamonds. Now remember we said a diamond is going to be a core workout. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a plank and hold it for a count of three. Make sure I get in plank position. Rear down. One, two, three. Not too bad. So if you draw a card that has a number on it, you just do that number value. The next card I drew, Queen of Spades. Now remember we said that the spades are going to be a lower body workout. I'm gonna do a wall sit, and remember the face value is 10. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a wall sit for a face value of 10. Find the wall, wall sit, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now, the next thing, you would continue to play and so forth and see how many you can get. Next card I drew was a two of clubs. Now, remember, a uh, clubs would be an uh, arm workout or such. I could do two push ups, anything I can choose. Now, what other exercises can you come up with? How can you make variations in the game? Remember to drink your water, eat your apple, stay healthy.